job seekers, we have a terrific opportunity for you to be up close and personal with area employers. WEHT is hosting the Tri-State Job Fair. Nicole Neidlinger is our local sales manager, and she's been tapped to explain <laughs> <laughs> the fun of the job fair. It's good to see you, Nicole. Right. Good to see you. Um, so we're hosting a job fair, and it is going to be on August the 25th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're trying to make it so that everybody can come, right. lunch hour, after work. Um, it's going to be downtown at the Central Library. Um, if you don't know, that's 200 Southeast uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Very easy to find. Very great parking, too. It is. Yeah. It is. And we have some really great companies. We have the area's largest companies coming. We have over 20 companies coming. Wow. Uh, production jobs, health care jobs, education jobs, and so, so much more. We'll also have some job coaches. We'll have some resume help. Um, you know, there's... There, there's something for everyone. There and really that's is. That's really. This is that opportunity, and we've talked about this in job fairs in the past. Where you're really looking at the yes. people who are the HR people, the people yes. doing the hiring, and you don't always get that. Correct. Correct. You know, this is an opportunity. And even if you're not looking for a job, I mean, it's it's always worth a look because nowadays the the market is so so wide open. It is. And everybody who comes on the show, and you know this, who buys time on mm -hmm. lifestyle, every single person ends their conversation with, "We're looking." Looking for good people, Always. and this is how you apply. So, you know, if you're looking to, some people are just looking to change their job or to step up right. into a new a new role. So, here you go. Yeah, yep. And it's, I mean, it's like I said, it's a good opportunity to get in front of those employers. Even if you're not looking to change jobs, it's a good way to update your resume. You know, job coaching. I mean, there's so many things that you can just learn from a job fair, and especially this one. Do we have to make an appointment for the job coaches? Nope. They'll be there and available. All right. What about bring, what do we need to bring? How do we need to look? How do we prepare for this? It, you know, your presentation, if you were going to a job interview, you, that's how you address. However, if you are coming from work, everyone understands. Right. If you have a resume, bring your resume. We'll help you update it. If you don't have a resume, we can help you write a resume. I mean, there's just going to be something for everyone there. And I'm sure all of that's changed in, the, in my job seeking days. We had all these long paper yeah. resumes and that's, yes. that's all electronic now. It is all much, electronic, it? yep. And that intimidates some people. It is intimidating. Savvy. It is and that's what we're there for is to help and you know make it easier, make the process easier. Well and it's fun for us as a television station to be able to offer this right. event for right. our area people because that we, you know, that's what we do. We serve the local community. We do. We do. And again the day? The day is August 25th. Time? To, uh, 11 to 5. 11 to 5. See, it's a quiz. I'm making her answer all these questions. And it's at Central Library. It where, Central. where in the building? Just come to the front and they'll tell you. There is actually a separate entrance. It's not the front. It is off the parking lot. The yes. main okay. parking lot. Not the parking garage. The main parking lot. There is a separate entrance. You will see the eyewitness news sign and there'll be another sign that says job fair. All right. Get your resume dusted up and come get that job of your dreams. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Angie. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.